Thank you. It's it's definitely come a long way from where I started. Um, Get over your six. Yeah, literally just last week I put this new manifold on because it's nice and brushed. Yeah. Um, some new coolant hoses. And what transmission is it running? Um, it's running O2A, so same as the Mark III. Mm-hmm. So you essentially have a Mark III into a Mark II. Yep. The whole thing. Yep. Do you have AC? I, no, I don't have AC. Not yet. No. So okay. I actually um, bought a Mark III Jetta GLX for my sports car. So it has Mark III subframe, um, Mark III engine transmission, Mark III gas tank. Mark actually it's a Mark IV shifter, O2J shifter. Um, I think that's all for Mark III parts. I kept the four lug, so it's Mark II axles. Um, Steering knuckle, everything, um, control arms, Mark II. What I remember, I, I was mentioning off camera that uh, I had three MR2 Jettas, mm -hmm. and this is literally, literally the same the build. Same. I, wa yeah. <laughs> yep. I wanted, I wanted Jetta. to do the same, the same swap that you yeah. just did. Um, it's fun. I mean, it's easy. I picked. The, it's an early VR6. Uh, it's it was from a '96, so it was actually OBD1. Okay. I thought it was OBD2 when I got it. So I basically just swapped, um, I bought an OBD2 harness and I swapped all the connectors to OBD2. Much better for tuning. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lot you, easier. You planning on tuning? Maybe. In the future? Um, I have a Black Forest Industries chip in the EC right now. Okay. I don't know if it makes a whole lot of difference. Um, Certainly makes something. Maybe in the future, yeah. Right now I'm kind of, I'm enjoying it how it is. Um, like we talked about, I would like to swap to a 24 valve, like a 3.2 or newer. something yeah. bigger at some point. Or have you thought about turbo? Uh, yeah, a lot of people ask me about that. It just this engine is so great for turbo. It is. You know, it, is. it breathes a lot a better. A lot than, of people yeah. ask me that. Um, it's definitely more complicated. Yeah. So I, I kind of have to be ready for a bigger project whenever I start. So what brought you into? doing mechanical stuff hands-on? So, I get that a lot, and um, I guess it's kind of by accident. There really wasn't like any particular moment. You took, you called it as an accident? No. This is not an accident. I, well, this is this is definitely the best thing I've ever, you know, okay. created myself since then, but I would, I mean, my family, no one in my family is into cars. Um, really? No. So I, you don't have a dad that is freaked about cars? My dad, my dad likes cars. He used to have a Jaguar convertible I loved, um, but he's not, you know, a big car nerd or anything. Um, I've always been a math and science nerd in school. I didn't know how an engine worked until I was like 17. So I started getting more, um, just more research about engine mechanics and stuff. Um, and the VR6 engine in particular intrigued me, like from a very young age. So I've always wanted. Um, why the, the VR6. Why, That's a good question. Why the VR6? I mean, uh, why the VR6? Why the um, VR6? I mean. Why not? It's just it's just such an interesting it's such an interesting motor. It's a V motor with one head. You have uh -huh. different length intake and exhaust ports, but just everything is engineered so that it works. What did you like the most about the VR6? I loved the sound and I loved how it looks. I feel like I that's think, what everyone would I say. I think that's what exactly but, what everyone would say. And you cannot go wrong. It with was that. it was very simple to work on. Um the only, I, I really didn't do like a complete engine rebuild. Only thing I've done was um, clutch, timing chains, and head gasket. And I feel like uh, pretty much compared, yeah. compared to a lot of modern cars, um, this was much simplified. This is, it was really pretty straightforward. When you did the head gasket, did you do uh, head studs or just OEM no, bolts? OEM bolts. OEM bolts. We gotta yep. go back at it and uh, put head studs and turbo. Yeah, it. <laughs> when I, yeah. When I turbo it, uh, maybe, <laughs> you know. That's a good point. When? Yes. When? So yeah, for now. It's... If you had the plan, or, or if you want to say, you know, money's not a problem, time mm -hmm. is not a problem, mm -hmm. you know, where would you see this car going in the next, you know? You know, I. I definitely want to clean up the engine bay. Like I, tuck in and all that? I, yes, I want to do a wire tuck for sure. Um, I actually, this wiring harness, I kind of half did that. I took the, I took OBD2 wiring harness and I, I cut all the sheathing off and I kind of cut out the connectors I didn't want and retaped it in a way that I liked. So if, sorry to interrupt you, no, but if we, see, if we see kind of, not weird, but 
I would say uncommon mm -hmm. to see f uh, female just going into into a you know a job like this. Yeah, it's even more exciting to know that you got into the electrical aspect of it. Oh yeah, it honestly, everyone dreads the electrical part of a swap. Yeah, it was probably the most fun for me. It's just doing the wiring harness. It it was almost um, like soothing, relaxing, relaxing. Oh, I get that. Uh, very, I get that. Yeah, I, I literally, I took the wiring, I didn't know anything, so I had my Bentley manual, I had a, my wiring harness, I cut all the tape off, I literally just laid it out on my living room floor, and I just, I looked at where the connectors go, I looked at what goes where, and kind of use that to learn. Mm -hmm. um, really, I, there was, if I had like a connector, I would trace that wire back to the to the where the ECU plugs mm -hmm. in and then I'd look at a pin out. Isn't it it's, it's like just for. like making a puzzle and just yeah. kind of put it together no, it, it, and it following is. a map. It literally is. Yeah. It's fun in that way. Um I mean I don't want to sit here and say the wiring was easy. Installing the wiring harness was definitely the easiest part, but in my splicing I actually um accidentally cut the power wire from the mass airflow so it left me stranded in the middle of Dallas one day. <laughs> so <laughs> I mean it, 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 yeah there's there's definitely it's pros and cons to it. Um, I have I wired in some resistors that are hidden, kind of where the ECU is. But that's like something I know that bothers me that other people aren't going to see. That's being a little OCD for all of I us. Know, I know, I know. Every person <laughs> that has the chance to understand yeah. automotive and not only automotive but also mm -hmm. wiring, I think it, you know is there. Mm -hmm. Nobody in the world can see it, right. but you know is there, right. so it's gonna there's, bug you until you fix so it. There's so much wires like hidden behind my bumper right here that, uh, so, like, I definitely want to clean that up. And getting back to your question, I want to repaint the engine bay. I want to make it look nice and clean. Like you see those those show cars that win awards that are just yeah. extremely clean. I want to get it to that point. Maybe even put um, a 24 valve motor in it, like we're saying. I, yeah, I want to see something, that. Something a little bigger. But before that, you got to mm -hmm. turbo this one. I don't... <laughs> I have a turbo car. Uh, I mean, this this car would be fun to turbo, but to me, it's it's about... It's really not about how fast I'm going. It's more about... Enjoying the drive. The looks, enjoying working on it, enjoying the drive. I, I do think it would be fun to turbo it um, down the road. I'm, I mean... I we were, we were at Texas 2K recently, and oh, we yeah. saw a green dual motor mm -hmm. um a, a GTI, was it gti was it a gti or a rabbit i want to say it was a gti that blew my mind mm -hmm. it blew my mind two, two i motors. think two motors wow. yeah two vr6s and it was a gen it's, i think it was a mark three okay um very bright lime green and wow, that thing was that fast yeah. <laughs> and you see the fat tires I'm talking That's about. Crazy. I didn't I didn't get the chance to be so close to it. But it amazes that people are wanting to bring this car back into the racing community. And, yeah. and this is what we do every day, you know, yeah. racing, uh, building yeah. race cars and for the most part we do a lot of Subarus and 911 stuff, but mm -hmm. um Volkswagens are part of it's back to basics. Uh, it's, yeah. It, it brings you back to the basics. Yeah. Um tell tell me a little bit about the front end because for what I for what I'm understanding this car does not come with this front end. It does. It does. Yes. So, so this was a, this was bought as a big bumper car. Okay. Um, unfortunately, to say this is not the original bumper, it was kind of beat up. So I had put a new bump. I painted a new bumper and put on there. So you normally there's fog lights. So that'll go right here. Right. I don't oh, have yeah. those. I actually. Um, so since it's a Mark III harness. The Mark II headlight harness is, is wired a little differently. It'll be in the wiring harness that goes straight to the fuse box. Mark III has, um, it's the main harness and then there's a connector that goes to the engine part and then there's a connector that goes to the headlights. Well, when I bought my harness, it didn't come with that. So I basically just bought the pigtail for the headlight harness yeah. on eBay. Um, on eBay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I, like I don't even have horns. Um, I literally just wired fog lights Headlights, um, parking lights, turn signals. Just the basic to get to a, 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 yeah. out, of, out, of, out on the road. Just, yep, the very basics. So I don't even have have it wired. My fog lights are wired to the inners. Okay. But because I put LEDs in the main headlights, if they don't work because they're LEDs, normally they're grounded through the bulb. Okay. So. Okay. And you know all that. Yeah. That's amazing. That is. Amazing. <laughs> I mean, like you learn eventually after yeah, doing it. So, so you many times. It, you pretty much know the car. You know, from bumper uh -huh. to bumper, and I like, like to you know your so. hand, isn't it? Yeah, 
Okay. I mean, after spending so much time, I know it might be daunting to someone who doesn't really, who might not be in the cards, but once you are involved in something so deep, it really is, is easy. I want you to show me the inside of the car because I had a just a hint of, of how it looks and I really want to take a look at that. You have Recaro seats <laughs> and you have that cross pattern. What's that, what's that uh, style? Uh, the called? plaid. The plaid. Yeah. Um, I, I always love plaid seats. Let's take seats. a look at that. Yeah. At a swap meet, it was like, hey, I just got these in. They're, they're just reupholstered from Mexico. Super good price. And I just, I hopped on it immediately. I actually sold my motorcycle to buy these. Can I open it? Yeah, of course. So it's got Prado steering wheel, um, original dash. Um, They're just amazing. When I bought it, actually, when I bought it, the um, there was aftermarket speakers wired in. Mm -hmm. So I ripped all that out. So technically, the speakers aren't wired in. The radio doesn't work. Well, you don't need a radio when you have a VR6. Right. You don't. And you I just, got a Bluetooth speaker. Yeah, it but works. you just listen to the yeah. to the music that's coming out of the engine. Right. There, there's no fake sounds in there. Right. At right. All. Yeah. No. Not none of that modern stuff yeah. that people don't get. Yeah. So. Um. Any. Uh, so talk to talk to me about how what you do suspension wise. I know you're low. I am. So I'm on racing coilovers right now. I'm not proud of that. Um. It's they're not great. That it, it was what was on the car when I bought it. Mm -hmm. But it was one of those things that. I'm going to attend to later. Uh, Are you planning on doing like KWs or? I would love to, but it's so expensive. Um, <laughs> I do. I I have um, some rear some coilovers for the rear, but um, I, I yeah I, I do want to do a new setup once I get the money. It's probably the next thing on my list because it, it does ride pretty rough right yeah. now. Yeah. So. And so what wheels are these? Uh, I don't know exactly the name. You don't know exactly the name of the wheel? <laughs> yeah, my coworker had him on his Audi 4000, and they're actually painted red. And um, at the time, I had my snowflakes, and I loved them. I yeah. love snowflakes. Um, I actually, they were pretty, they're small, they're 14s. So my coworker sold me these. These are 15s? These are 16s. 16s? Yeah, I just think they fit the car a lot better. Yeah, they do. They um, do. I've always loved red with black rims. No, um, it does look really, really so, good. <laughs> thank you. So I'm, I'm running this for a little bit, kind of seeing how I like it. Um, do you have them? On, do you have them on spacers of any kind? Yeah. Or? So yeah. what is? I think that About looks like minutes. like 10, 15? fifteen, maybe. Okay. Um, and then I think it's just fives up front. Yeah, just okay. just to get it to fit kind right. of flush. Yeah, I don't need any crazy stance look or anything like that. Um, uh, you're not building for that. You're building for the purpose and to enjoy right. the drive. I, I want to be able to make it comfortable. Yeah. And you have some sticky rubbers. <laughs> yeah. I noticed. Those Falcons are yeah, really good tires. I know. They're getting pretty low. I, I need to get some <laughs> new ones. But, like, they were on a race car. so They were? Uh, really? Yeah, the super, yeah. So super light wheels. Um, I've loved them so far. I really do want to get something um, period correct. This is just amazing. So if, if somebody had a question about it, yes, yes guys, it's it a VR6. VR6. It is totally yeah. an MK2 VR6. I know, uh, it's funny because, um, first of all, I was shocked that plate was available in the first place. Yeah, um, you would think somebody would come up with the idea. I right? think someone did have it before, but I, I guess it's not the car anymore. Um, so I got that, I, I'm so glad I got, when I picked it up from the DM, from the tax office, the lady was like, this is a custom plate? Because if you don't know what you're looking at, it looks like, yeah, if you don't have any it's idea, like you don't, yeah, 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 yeah. So some letter, but for us car enthusiasts, we know what that if, means. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. Yeah. The more you know, guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so and today we have planned to do a uh, oil change. Uh, we have planned to do uh, look at the look at the rest of the fluids on the car, make sure that everything is, is good. But I want you to get hands on it. So I'm gonna be there for support. Okay. I know you can do this. I know for a fact you can do this. If you if you need some tools, let me know. Uh, today, let me let me show you the oil that we're gonna be using. Right. We're gonna be using Lego Molly 540 lace louse, um, and then we're gonna be using Haynes filter, which in theory this is a, an OEM filter. <laughs> Cool. 
All right, guys, this is why I like Lico Molly so much. So they do have the 540 Lace Lounge and they also offer the Molly Gin. Like I was telling you earlier, Molly Gin has a different uh, dye in it or a different color because it has a dye, it contains a dye that helps you finding oil leaks when you have oil leaks. And uh, mm -hmm. since we're doing an oil change, we know, we, know, we know for a fact that it's not pouring, leaking, it's not, a, it's not you're missing a quart every, every second. We're gonna put the oil in it and we're gonna let the oil come out at the normal, the normal speed and then be able to find out what it, what is the leak cause, right? Or the leak, the leak source. Mm -hmm. So let's put that on. Sweet. But before that. Gotta drain it out. <laughs> drain it. <laughs> All right guys, so I believe it's this one. So we have, have a couple of wrenches here. We're gonna be using the 14 millimeter. And I do have this combination kind of wrench so I'm gonna have Jackie use them. I was just telling Jackie. So like, like we were mentioning earlier, so the lace out has the approval for 50, 50200 and 50500, which is the approval for the VR6, but so is the Molygen. The Molygen had the same approval and it's just as good as this one is. So we're gonna have a lot of fun putting this one in and I have a little surprise for her. Let me tell you what, one of my favorite products is this one, MOS. It's, uh, it's, what, it's what made Liquid Molly the company that it nowadays is. Oh. A little bit on the story on that thing, that product was created for uh, airplanes, you know, and the whole idea was just to um, have the ability to lubricate better. Uh, and and if, if in the condition of no oil was present on the, on the engine, you have a little bit, a little bit of time to run without oil uh, to get to a safe place. So, MOS is actually in our per periodic table. It's a little hard to pronounce, um, but this this product is amazing. It smooths out the engine, quiets the motor significantly, and uh, it it prolongs the life of the engine. Race car life. <laughs> it prolongs the life of the engine and uh it makes things just so much better and actually one of my favorite combinations is either of these two oils with this you just put it in with the oil yeah so Anywhere. right before the oil you just pour that okay. thing in and then you know just start topping off the oil to the right level mm -hmm. and then you just fire it up the car this one is the kind of product that you do every time you do an oil change mm -hmm. um liquid Molly also has one that is called serotech mm -hmm. for cars that are sitting and you know mm -hmm. more than driving every day yeah. Um, it adheres it, it adheres to the to the metal and whatnot, and it takes some time for for that to be done. But on this one, the moment you fire up the motor, you let the engine warm up; it's already active. I did an oil change um, maybe a couple months ago, a little kind of recently. I don't. This isn't my daily. I probably drive it about twice a week. Not too bad. And you have a magne magnetic. It is magnetic. Yeah. I don't. I don't really like it. But there's nothing on it, so that's, that's good. good. That's, good, that's good. We're gonna be dealing with two weird color things <laughs> to go into the engine, but trust me, guys, this is the best stuff. So look at this. This one has a lock. Squeeze it in there, and look at that color of that. Like black. Yeah, it's nice. like <laughs> literally black. Yep. The, the lock, and this is kind of weird, but. I'm telling you guys, this is the best stuff. <laughs> well, let's go for it. The, the, beauty, the beautiful thing about this product is that I can use it on the diesel engines. I can use it on Japanese cars. I can use it on race cars, mm -hmm. on the daily driver, on the car that sits for a long time. Yeah, it doesn't everything. matter. This is like the one and only product that you really, really want to put up pretty much anything. And Likamoli has a similar product to transmissions too. Oh, really? to go into the transmission so if you have yeah. you know if you want to smooth out the gears a little bit that I, that's helpful yeah yes. so now the fun part the green oil <laughs> let's go and what i want to do now since we don't have the whole bottle in it what i want to do now is just fire up the engine let it run for like a few seconds yeah. Fill up the oil uh, filter cavity and then, you know, check the oil level and go for it. Top it Perfect. up if needed.
One thing we always do is go underneath, make sure that there's no oil leaks. On this one, there's nothing, so it's all good. See it's it's on more or less where we want it, but I think yeah, you kind of want it like right in the middle. Yeah, but I think we can put it slightly more. A little bit more. Let me yeah. go get a little bit more. All right, that right there should be enough. Let's find out. Do the trick. So it's right in the middle, a little high, which is perfect. That's usually where I'd rather go a little bit over than just a little not. bit over. Then let me see where's that. Just slightly above the middle, exactly. You know, for us car people, we like to go fast every now and then. We want to rev up the motor good enough, and if you have a lot of the fluid, typically comes a little too much. You know, when you're doing that, you can pop the disc stick out and things like that. You won't ever want to overthrow any engine whatsoever. Good to go? I think we are good to go. All right, well, a good blessing. Let's close the hood. Kind of has to clean. Typical <laughs> old boys, right? Jackie uh, is brave enough to let me drive her car and see how, how it goes now on the road. So let's take a peek. Hey guys, let, let's be honest. Who needs a radio when you have an engine like this? Who does need a radio? And it's all about enjoying the view, enjoying the company, enjoying the weather, enjoying the, the drive, the car, the sound, everything surrounding you. These cars are so raw. The feedback, the feedback on the wheel, it, it tells you exactly what's going on on the road. And it's just a, it's just a blast to drive these things. The, the most beautiful thing about these engines is how good they are on the high range RPMs. Right. They just sound amazing. Yeah, you can feel that there's more power or higher. Yeah. It's like the like the 911 that I have. Power doesn't really wake up until 4,000 RPMs. And then past 4,000, it's amazing. The power is just amazing. Right. We're gonna end the video here guys uh thank you guys so much for watching until the end of the video like and subscribe share the video and if you guys are gonna be uh or wanting to be part of something like this just go for it do your do your research go for it pull the trigger and enjoy it while you do it because it's not it's all about the journey you meet a lot of good people so you meet a lot of you make a lot of good friends and then you have opportunities like this to have fun uh and drive an amazing car mm -hmm. thank you guys so much stay tuned